Hi guys, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. So the first thing we're going to do is I think I have a quest I can complete in Stone Garden Graveyard. Somewhere around here. So basically that uh, uh, person who wanted a corpse explode book is somewhere around here. So I'm going to have a look. I think she's somewhere in here. Uh, that's where my uh, Googling roughly says where it is. So, uh, Googling what's, what ability, what ability yeah, is that? I found it. I don't know. Sorry, uh, uh, duck, duck, go. I, I binged it. Don't worry. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, there's the... Uh, okay, so this is... Uh, it actually says on the map. Like, it is actually a flag for it, too. So that's 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 why I... Uh, I was a dirty casual. Alright, where is she at? Fuck. Ethene the traitor. Well, did it just go away? I've seen the traitor. Fuck. There it is. I found the remains of Ethene lying in a tomb. Why don't you fucking want to tell me it? Is that her? I don't think so. Yeah, it is her, actually. Alright. But she didn't corpse explode it at all. That's it. That's all? Because I can't loot her. I mean, I already tried to loot her, that's why. Is that it? Here lies Bessie Vanyan, There's nothing in there. Oh, fuck. Why did it make us do this? Alright. So, I don't know how much else we have to do, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna roam around town for a bit. Talk to some of the good lads in the town, and, uh... We will have a look. Uh, because apparently, like, we, we kind of, like... Passed by town really fast, so. That's close enough, Reptile. I thought you lizards were all hiding behind your imperial walls. What are you doing in Driftwood? Um, we're just passing through. Good. This town has enough problems. Tell me, have you seen a man around here? Grey beard, grey cloak, a look of madness in his eyes. Uh, say so you haven't. Damien, take it all. Where is the snake? Magister Carver will have our heads if we don't find him. It's vital that you report anything unusual. We must know. Is that clear? Ask about this person she's hunting. He arrived in Driftwood some days ago, dressed as a tinkerer. He bought and sold a few knickknacks. But we thought nothing of it until our brothers started vanishing. As soon as he knew we were onto him, he ran. We think he's hiding in here, but he's a canny one. Now, be on your way. Who knows where he could strike next? Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Remember there was a quest where the, someone was stealing and killing magisters or something. That wasn't us. So. <laughs> that wasn't us, yeah. Ugly. Yeah. Uh, look at you. You're all scaly. The fuck you just say to me, bitch? The little boy looks at you. He and got you a tail. That's disgusting. Yeah, he picked his nose, whatever. Don't be rude, Ben. He's a lizard. It's not his fault he's ugly. Tell him where you're from, you're known for your beauty. They stare at you in disbelief. Then, they start laughing. You're weird. Ask them what they expect to see staring at the water. We were waiting for our friend. He went for a swim. He'll be back soon. He went swimming all the way to Fort Happy. Fort Joy? That's what I said. Fort Joy. He's gonna find his mum and bring her back. <laughs> Tom, you suspect their friend isn't coming back. Oh, I want my friend back. Ben, if he finds his mum in Fort Joy, they're probably both really happy now. So don't worry. Isn't that right, Lizard? When to tell her Fort Joy isn't that nice. Well, then they'll be home soon, won't they? Why would they stay in a place that isn't nice? See, Ben? Joe and his mum will be back soon. This person's lockpicks. Well, I guess so. Thank you, Mr. Lizard. Now, if you don't mind, we're busy waiting for our friend. Bye-bye, Lizard. The kids turn back to the water. Ben picks his nose. Fucking Ben. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what they say about Seville. Hello, Mrs. The little boy looks at you. He picks his nose. You be careful. My daddy's a magister. No, he's not. His daddy's a fisherman, like most daddies around here. <laughs> Tell us nothing. Your daddy's a god, probably. They stare at you in disbelief. Then they start oh, laughing. Heard this one. You're weird. Bye, bye, lady. Bye, bye, Miss. All right. So they call me Mrs. If I'm uh, talking to him with Seville. Uh, so that's another quest. One of their friends disappeared while swimming. 
I, w I would love to use uh, ghost vision, but you know, um, you'll die. Yeah, I'll get killed by uh, magisters. Here I still am, and here you still are, adrift and bloody driftwood. Uh, about the matters you're investigating. Yes. Have you anything to report? Uh oh, this is about the dwarven letter. What's her mission again? In short. Travel east in search of a dwarven base of operations in the treacherous Reefers Bluffs. Should any such place exist, it would be very opportune indeed should you stumble across any correspondence between Lohar and Queen Justinia. Can't describe it to you any plainly than that. Okay, I'm going to see what... Because this is the quest for... What's the one? Uh... Which one is it? The druid... No, it, remember that note we got? And we're like, we have to be careful about who we give the note to? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the law of war, the so let me go see that. Okay, yeah, what? How are these pants for you, by the way? Let's give them to my prince. Is that giving me pants? They're, uh, they're worse than what I have. Okay, pass them back then, I'll sell them. I mean, it, they do give constitution, though. Fuck. Why do you, why do you do this to me? I mean, I was wearing them on Beast, but I found an upgrade. Like, they gave them physical armor, and I that more. Like, yeah, I, lo I lost it. health on I'll Beast, but, like, yeah. Fuck it, I'll take health, it. The health is good, right? Yeah, shit, fucking piece of shit. Ass. Why do I have, like, a piece of paper? Oh, no, no, it's a fucking Meister's note, never mind. All right, let me go fucking figure this out one sec. So that letter. So you can give the letter to Lohar, and the quest is closed. If you give it to the magisters, you will have to kill Lohar and report to the magisters to close the quest. Oh fuck the magisters! Just give the, let's go. Okay. Okay. Lohar's that's... a cool guy. All right. Well, do I have the letter or do you? I have no idea. I think you have the letter, or no? I think I have the letter because it's it's giving me the option to. Uh yeah. I have do you want a to do the talking or do you want me to do it with Beast? I mean, I would like you to do it with Beast, so let's let's go to where it is. Where Where is it at? Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, under Tavern, there we go. Alright, go, go talk to Lohar. Just because I was wondering how to finish that quest off. Sure. You wanna, get, boy. You wanna get fucked by a spider again? Oh, do I? Yeah. For more money? For like, more like 800 suck. gold? Yeah. Don't you fucking roll the suck? Eh. Hey. Also, there's probably, uh, hot lizard bitches to bang. Get the fuck in there. <laughs> you say, <laughs> I prefer spider bitches. <laughs> no, God, on the we, internet, would, we would smash them off. On the internet, nobody is near a spider. Alright. Uh. Uh. Um, what am I going for here? Uh, sure, let's say you've heard of Spring of Murders against Magistrate Driftwood. Ask me anything about it. Don't insult me. I wouldn't expose my people like that. But if you find out who did it, shake their hand for me. Tell him you came across a wrecked caravan outside town. It looked like some of his people were involved. That's right. Lost one of my best lads, Anhar. Didn't get Jalia's body back, though. Maybe one of them beasts took her like they did the sorcerers. Ask why he didn't go collect the bodies of the fallen. We will, once the Reds turn down the alarm a bit. They're jumpy as all hell for the moment. Won't do anyone any good to raise a ruckus now. Change the subject. Uh, okay, you know what? Just just stop the dialogue for a sec, one sec. Do I not have the letter? I'm giving you red prints. Alright, now, now start the dialogue again with him. There you go. You, I, I have it somewhere, but at least like this... Hmm. <laughs> I don't see it! Produce the Dwarven Queen's letter from your pocket, show up the seal, but hold it out of his reach. What are you doing with that? Hand it over. That's my property. Hmm. <laughs> Should I be a dick? <laughs> do do what you, you feel is right. Well, half the time you're a dick, so I'm gonna give him the letter. He oh, you fucking reads cuck. over the letter, as though making sure nothing has changed. Could you bought this to me? I'd hate to think what might have happened to you if you hadn't. I guess that's it. Okay. Hey, what do you what do you do here in Driftwood? Whatever needs doing. 
Isn't that obvious? Yeah. Take was, your leave. Wow, that was disappointing. I now wanted to kill him. It'd be so easy to kill him though, it's not worth. Wait, he's all, uh, he's all yeah, the rewards are shit. Oh, good. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Alright. Well, a potion of nimble tumble, 50% dodging. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's the best thing out of that. Or I can get something that sells more money, what do you want? No, just give the, get the fucking nimble tumble, that sounds amazing. Mm, the meme potion. Yeah. I wonder what happens that's if I go back to the low level quest. I mean, it's just we never finished it. Like, I just, I never, I never clued in that we were, I mean, the, the problem is also we keep, like, stopping for, like, like, a week, and then we come back, and then we're like, we forget about quests, so. Just, just for you, you can have the potion nimble, nimble oh, douche. Here I still am, and here you still are. A drift yes. Uh, have you anything to okay, so we don't even have the option now to finish that quest with him. If there's no work for an honest dwarf like myself, the likes of you don't stand a chance, mate. Best not linger. Your lot tends to rile people up. All right. I love my potion of nimble. Just drink it right now. <laughs> no, I have honey for that. I have honey if I want to. Right. All right, so I've done most of the stuff here. I'm gonna go inside the uh, sawmill as well. I'll have a look around. Molly the dog. I want to talk to Molly the dog. Oh, there's Molly the dog. Not a sawmill. It's a I salt mine, isn't it? I don't think Molly had anything. The dog stares at a spot beneath the building, a low growl in its throat. Oh yeah, that's right. There was a spot underneath the building. Also, uh, we're allowed to loot barrels, and there's no punishment. But do you want poisoned fish? Is the question. No, well, I'd rather it not. Makes me smelly. See so what I get underneath the building. I miss Joe. All right, these two kids are like looking in the ocean for something. Uh. See. Sibyl? I should do that. I, I really want to use uh, the spirit vision, but I need a place to be, like, hidden. No one will ever know. Oh, uh. Oh, there was a bug in the game. Yeah. Alright, uh, let me just unhook them. Target group is too far away. Well, go fuck yourself. Alright. Why am I smelly for six fucking turns? Oh. That's why. All right, uh, we're gonna go to fucking Cloisterwood and then fucking use this thing and go to Sabiel's bag. All right. Apparently, there's no ghosts on the docks. Go figure. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Guess we'll still have a look around here. But who who told you there's a place underneath the? Building. Uh, the dog did. Very credible source. Oh, there, lizard. Reach for a weapon and I'll see you gutted, filleted, and pickled. Now, I'm looking for someone. You might even know him. Grey cloak, grey beard, a satchel of books under one arm. We don't know, we haven't seen anyone. Of course you haven't. Your kind would never rat out a sorcerer, would you? If I find you're hiding him from me, I'll cut off bits that won't grow back. If you see anything suspicious, report it immediately, skink. Understand? Flex your claws and walk away from the insolent human without a word. <laughs> I'm still not seeing any way to get underneath this place. Maybe there, actually. There's lockers here, by the way. Are you stealing? A robbery! Uh-oh. Get out of here. I already took the. I already sent it to Lady Vengeance. We can get them out, and you can get back to work. There was a robbery that just, just took place. It's very strange. What? Who done did it? You be needing something from me, lad. Ain't much inclined to rub elbows with lizards if you catch me drift. Uh, look at him in disgust and say you're worried about catching more than his drift. Standing this close. One of those, are you? 
An aristocrat. A slaver, even, from the House of War. Yeah, I think I pegged you right. Between you and me, fancy pants, I'll still take a slaver like yourself over the Reds any day. <coughs> uh, <laughs> Winky Whisper, you're not exactly a fan of the Magisters either. Glad to hear you say it. The day will come we'll overthrow them, you mark my words. Until then, I'll practice the art of gutting on spoiled fish. Uh, ask him if he knows anything about the stooges that the, ba the Magisters are looking for. Fugitive? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't think that's something I should be discussing with strangers. Dwarf? Uh, I have I have a thing called Dwarf Friend. Say you'd take it as a courtesy from what you regard as a friend. The fuck? It's because I'm friends with a dwarf. <laughs> And it's a courtesy I'd like to extend to you. I surely would. If it weren't so dangerous with all them reds around. No, no, I shan't be baited. I ain't saying nothing on the topic no more. Uh, start him in the eyes so you can always beat it out of him. <laughs> sure. Gods be buggered fine. I'll tell. I'll tell you all I know. The dwarf leans in and begins whispering conspiratorially. This fella runs along, right? Sweating, panicking. Red's racing after him like hunting hounds. Hide in a barrel, you fool, I yelled. And what do you know? He did. Problem is, he's still in there. Been hours. Can't go nowhere, he can't. Not with the Reds around. Ah, he's in a barrel, apparently. What? Yeah. I'm not even shitting you. Uh, well, where the fuck is it? Which fucking barrel is it? Who's in a barrel? Uh, fucking guy that the magister's looking for. Hope that fella makes it out of driftwood. Why do you like to kill him if they find him? Oh, why do you dislike magisters? I, I had friends, good friends, not even dwarves. Some of them. Reds put him on a ship, sailed him to Fort Joy. Ever heard of that place, Fort Joy? They send you there, it means you ain't never coming back. Exp explain it, you know Fort Joy, wa Joy well. Lovely beaches, nasty dungeons. You, you've been there? Smack in the middle of the lion's den. Crikey. Yeah. Ain't never heard of anyone that gave the Reds the slip before. Good on you, lad. You give me hope, you do. Uh, it's about the Magisters and his deported friends. Reds got them, but can they hold them? I mean, you got out, didn't you? Maybe they can too. Hmm. Well. Let's keep having a look around. I mean, there's still like... I, I don't want to necessarily search every single fucking barrel, though. I mean... It's a lot for us to do. We can do it. So what's gonna happen? Just one barrel's just gonna one day just fucking go like, oh hey, it has a person hey, inside girl. that you can loot. A person inside? <laughs> exactly. Well, I'll still I'll still have a look around. There's still a lot of people to talk to. The bad man did it. I mean, a lot of them are like, you're not allowed to loot them though. Maybe isn't one of the ones you are allowed to loot. I mean, I, I'm gonna guess that the, that, that the icon would change for it, honestly. It could be something that you talk to instead of uh, uh, something that you can loot. Maybe. The bad man did it. What a disgusting smell. Stone's getting first, what do you do? Well, I don't know, I keep talking to people. The dwarf reaches into a barrel and pulls out a fish. His knife glides through the scales, crimson guts spilling out in its wake. The innards fall to the floor, landing in a pool of dark bile. You'd expect fish to smell, but these reek. I uh, declare that those fish aren't even fit for a slave to eat. Oh, I forgot your lot still keep slaves. Your empire's rotten as this catch. But the boss has found a buyer for this muck, so maybe there's hope for you yet. 
Uh, wonder who would buy such a foul-looking fish. He runs his knife through another fish and flicks the blade, sending a shower of guts to the ground. I'd say your guess is as good as mine, except I got the sense not to ask any questions. Now you slither on, lizard. I've enough scales to deal with. The dwarf turns back to his work, slicing and disemboweling fish after fish as the blood and black bile mix and swirl around his boots. As you leave the stinking dwarf, one of the barrels catches your eye, leaning to investigate. Looking at the barrel, you see that someone has scrawled Black House on it in paint. You cast your eyes around to see that every barrel headed to Arx has the same inscription. Here, leave them barrels alone. I told you to take a hike, so uh, scram. Uh. Wait, I learned I learned magic recipe. Oh, uh, there's something to do with the the uh, barrels there, and there's also salt mining. So, <laughs> well, I think we're good here. Oh, there's a dark into a stone skin potion. Decking, like there's something wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> something's wrong, and it's not right. All right, what's what's it doing? I don't know, but there's something wrong, and it's underneath the floor. All right, we'll investigate if we can. Be careful down there, mister. You're not smelling what I'm smelling. Oh, I, I see. I see where we're supposed to go. Sneaking failed. All right, can I, am I allowed down there? Okay, I, I'm going to need uh, I'm gonna need dwarf. Dwarf? What for? Yeah. Uh, to unlock something. Let me just finish crafting some shit. God, you're taking forever. Holy shit. I'm coming. Whatever. When the guy's not looking, you the fucking dwarf talk peers about at an expertly that. dissected fish. Oh, I see. Poking its innards with his knife. Fascinating. Most fascinating. Mm. Oh, Just, uh, no. uh, what do you want? <laughs> dwarf friend. There's no need to be so gruff. You're a friend to all dwarves. The dwarf stares at you. I didn't agree to that. Go find some other dwarf to be chummy with. Uh, not that the, uh, so say, say you recognize the incisions, the work of a healer or scholar, not some fishmonger. With a small grin, the dwarf glances between you and his handiwork and shrugs. Indeed I am. They can close our schools, but they can't take away what I've been taught. Besides, there's still so much to learn. Uh, wonder what, why like, the likes of him wound up in a place like this. Times are hard. There's not much gold to be made in scholarly pursuits. I can't ignore my first calling, though, especially when there's so much to learn. Ask if you can help somehow. Yes, as it happens. I need to see the effects of eating these fish firsthand, if you understand me. <laughs> he wants me to eat the fish. Uh, tell me to eat the fish himself if he's so keen to learn more. No, I can't eat the fish. I need to properly observe its effects, and I can't do that if I'm, well, if I'm indisposed. All right, uh, what's in it for me? Do as I ask, and you'll be amply rewarded, I guarantee you. Fuck. I don't want some permanent stat, Diva. Fine, I'll do it. Wonderful. Now, there's three samples that I wish to learn more about. Care to choose? Let's eat the yellow fish. The fish instantly churns your insides. You double over in pain. A sudden, vivid sensation of floating in darkness assails you. There's something in there with you. Something. Hungry and corrupt. You can't breathe. You can't breathe. The dwarf suddenly drifts back into view, peering at you with fascination. How do you feel? A stream of black bile suddenly erupts from your mouth and across the dwarf's boots. He doesn't even look displeased. Catch your breath and you see uh, things, terrible things that you can't even describe. I see. Well, I'm sure it was nothing but a side effect of the fish. Speaking of which, I've learned a great deal from observing you. I owe you a great debt. Uh... Point out he owes you more than his gratitude. You were promised a reward. Ah, yes. Of course, of course. But this mightn't be quite what you were expecting. But, um, well, the fish you ate is known as Yellow Ridgeback. Quite a cunning breed. Often used in concoctions to increase alertness. But this one, touched by the void itself. Who is to say how such a creature might alter an alertness mixture? Seek out somewhere that peddles alertness herb mixes. Adding these um, unique ridgebacks might make quite the impact. So, now my work must continue, as soon as I've got in my quarter of fish, of course. Farewell, stranger. Ah, uh, potent alertness herb mix. Oh, fuck. Make me some herbs, Kent. 
Where is it? Isn't that the stuff we like you smoke in the arena? I, I, I'm actually not sure. I mean, can't, can't we just bring a bong with us everywhere? <laughs> I don't know, man. Ask, is that kosher? A, asking for a fret. <laughs> <laughs> if all the badges hate us now. <laughs> Imagine the one being weed bearers. Man, you don't know what I've been through, man. Don't like be such a my nerd. buzz, man. <laughs> no, I unlocked a thing like five hours ago. I know, I know, but I was, I was busy. I don't even know what the fuck that quest is at this point. Alright, let's get in here. Oh shit. It's uh, nothing. Okay, I, I, I see. I, I see literally nothing. Oh man. So we wanted a fucking Dota game. Oh yeah. What? What? Because it's nothing? Salt! Oh, I see. The walls oh. are salt. See the right. salt. To some extent, the air right, is there salt. There are some traps here. Be careful now, that's a trap. Okay, Sounds like Dota. Do you want to get the fuck off of that? Alright. We may need to change how this works. Alright, Tabeel. Go on a merry adventure. Where is the uh, ta tactical advance? How do I turn this shit off? What if you don't? Careful now, that's a trap. Th thank you for telling me about the trap, Sabiel. Fucking tard. Hold up, the trap. But some of these barrels look interesting. All right, go to Sabiel's bag. I don't know how to turn this shit off, but whatever. Ah, oh, there we go. Maybe that does it. Thank God. One barrel of fish stands out from the others. It's sealed and marked with a cross. Something about it seems familiar. Break the seal and open the barrel. The fuck? Uh. Okay, it's it had a poison cloud on there. The That's how they get you. Okay. Oh, dude, oranges? 34 oranges? Dude! Aren't you just jealous? Just think of how many orange juice we can make for that. There's actually, like, normal fish here. What the fuck? Yeah, I've been looting a normal fish as well. Oh, these are still poison, though. More like normie fish. Three. Oh, dude, tea herbs? Dude, I'm gonna send that to you, because obviously you need that. How much do they weigh? Yeah, for all that tea. This is... This is almost a fifth of a pound of, uh, or something, of, of tea. Enjoy. Thanks, fam. If, you, if I don't see you memeing and fucking drinking tea during fights, I swear to fuck. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just <laughs> you're quit. Already, you're already getting mad at me for buffing, like... Yeah. So suddenly if I spend my turn drinking tea, it's like, no, yeah, I respect uh, that. At least I can get mad at you for, like, other reasons. What the fuck? Oh, nice. Hey, hey, how much how much space do you have left of on your uh, thing, on your on your on FN? Okay, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Not fully enough, fucker. <laughs> what did you give to him? Uh, six paintings. Oh well, twelve in total. It was just it was in a fucking crate. There was like fucking... twelve in total. Yeah, twelve Where the paintings. Where the fuck the twelve? He had 12 pa I had 12 paintings. It had 12 paintings there. Okay, what the fuck is the deal with this? Why is this poo gas not going away? I see it. Fucking right now, Beast is carrying it. Alright. I'm gonna make this blow up, I just decided. Great. Because that's a good idea. Alright. Uh, the poo gas has been dealt with. Alright, Sabiel, you go take the lead over here. So it's like it's familiar, but it just made like a fucking gas cloud. It's like basically a cup of tea. It made a fucking. That's British hey, as fuck. Man, you told me to do it. Dude, that's British as fuck. Can I make a mug of tea? See, the thing, the oh, thing yeah. was, the thing was there. The fish wished it had been the one that got away. The thing was there was like a shit ton of um, like traps preventing us from going in here. So, I mean, I guess the security log could be part of it. Let's go check that out. Nice. Oh good, a, a well-worn chest. Ah, oh, shit. Beast! Beast! Dwarf, sorry. Sorry, dwarf? Dwarf? Uh, does, does someone say my name? 
Security log. Uh, the most important uh, area of focus of the month is cellar security. Barrels have arrived. Placement of divine 2000 turret barrels is complete. Don't stare into the barrel. Dude, I love turret barrel turrets. Apparently so do you. You know I just opened this thing, right? <laughs> if I... What? Uh, this is how much I'm willing to meme. <laughs> Look at what i just given you. The fu expensive wine? <laughs> expensive fucking wine? The fuck? Oh god! I'm gonna have to drink that on a special occasion. Okay, you got you got beer for other occasions. I I I, I closed the I, I stopped that thing from going. All right, Thanks. Go, go fucking uh, go do I your job. It again. Okay, I'm not I'm not fucking I'm not fucking touching it anymore. Oh, you want you want uh, who did you want? Sorry. I want I wanted uh, I wanted dwarf. Sorry, who? Dwarf. You know what? <laughs> no, don't take him away from me, I need him. No, no, no. I just gave you the chest. Oh, you, just, you know what, that, that works out. <laughs> I'm no, literally, I a piece of shit as well. I'm literally in the room next to you, but whatever. I'm looting this place. Oh, cool. Um, this is expensive-ish. One barrel of fish stands out from the others. It's sealed and marked with a cross. Something about it seems... Is it as expensive as the wine? Yeah, maybe, yeah. It breaks the seal and open the barrel. Why, why does it always do this? Huh. Something very odd about this. Ah, it's an oil barrel. I don't need that. Dripping with liquid oh. sauce, this barrel is sealed and marked with a cross. From the barrel you sense a familiar power. It thrums in your bones, in your soul. Uh, take a nervous look around. Liquid source attracts bad company. Nothing stirs in the dank and stinking basement, and yet you feel an imminent presence. All right, let's break hmm. the seal and open the barrel. Inside, you find not fish, but weapons. Powerful weapons. The kind of weapons the Magisters took from the hollow marshes. Oh, there's... How is this powerful weapons? These are fucking trash. <laughs> Remember, they were all over leveled. I mean... Okay, I'll, I'll give you both of these. What do, you, what do you think of these? These are these are powerful... Oh, shit. Okay, um... Hi. Is uh, there a fight? Like uh, chance? Uh, maybe. Maybe there's a fight. You, you wanna... You wanna come over? I'm over incumbent. Uh, yeah. I have osteoporosis. Yeah. This is, uh, this is your time to come over here. This is fucking spooky. Well, I mean, they're fucking level 11, though. Oh, by the way, I started the fight, so uh, maybe you want to come over here. I'm trying, but he won't go in. Just join the fight, I guess. They're, they're fire immune, though, so... So are you with me right now? I'm in the fight, yeah. Oh, you're over there. Okay, good. Fuck, I'll just do this. Oh, you're just down there? That's where you are? Yeah. Oh, I used up all my points. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the fucking spawned Voidling. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, it just... Like, I, I opened a chest with some fucking garbage and that's what it gave to me. Hey man, it's Christmas time. They're all shitty void woken. They really are though. I'm, I'm like killing them all in one hit, so. But I, I figured you want to be here for the uh, uh, the so-called experience. Oh yes. The experience. <laughs> Arg. <laughs> Is that one not immune to fire? I guess not. Oh, hello. So that's what they were talking about when they were like, oh, there's shit in this cellar. The dogs were like always fucking telling me to come down here. Arg. Arg. <laughs> the legs no work so good. I like a water con- you guys have like no armor, right? 
Yeah, I got my fucking water on it. Do it. I mean, it says here some of them are like, uh, like, weak to fire, actually. Prepare yourself. You know what? I'm already committed to this. All right, fucking memester. Could have also committed to drinking some tea, but fuck that. That would be a, that would be a waste. I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have class. No. What, you need no. to fucking kill them in one hit? I've been one hitting them fucking left and right. What the fuck are you no. doing? No. I chose water. Yeah, okay. If I just chosen blood, I'll save his points. Fucking useless you are. Oh, nice. Ow. Right, let me just uh, gnaw me this guy. Okay. Uh, what, what is there to still hit? Really nothing, honestly. I'm trying to. Nice retreat! Yeah, I know, right? Did I get them both? Eh, yeah, almost did. Oh, good, it's your turn again. I delay my no. Fucking I wonder what I, worthless thing. I can't thing. see actually. This is <laughs> lagging a bit. I mean, dude, this is so easy. We're gonna just fucking. Oh, yeah, it's lagging. I wonder if it's because of all the fire effects on the ground. Let me just. Uh, hey. Oh shit! You actually did something. You might actually hit something. It's fucking ridiculous. Uh, okay, it's not blocked. Just low ground. Okay, shit. The okay, there's one blocked. right next to you. What the fuck are you doing? I was trying to kill that one because I can just fucking black this guy. Like just black. Fucking are terrible. It wasn't. I was trying to get a fucking angle on him. Okay, can I end turn, please? Slag. Right, I'll, I'll be fast. Thank you. Our, this guy bl like, what? Just, just let me, let me fucking get him. Honestly, just fuck this guy. Honestly. I know. I like, calm the fuck down. Fuck this guy. All right, fucking tentacle lad. Why you didn't kill him? I mean, I, I was just getting beside him so I could kill him. Also, Red Prince is on fire, but he likes it like this. So, let, let, let me know if uh, the two things I gave you was worth. I mean, they could sell for a bit. That's about all I can say about that. Oh, and this fish, though. I mean, do they sell for a bit? A little bit, yeah. Gold, nothing... All right. Well, I guess that's what they the, what the dogs were complaining about. Uh, have a toy wooden block, sure. On uh, beast, you can have that. Yeah, something for. Just what he's do. always wanted. Yeah, void tainted palace. The fuck? I'm gonna eat Place. that. I'm eating no. that. No. It uh didn't give me anything really. Would you like an empty grenade and fucking gold? Oh boy, would I an empty grenade? Yeah. There you go. Actually, I should probably should have given that to Beast. Nah, it's already matter. There's buckets. Do you want a bucket of tea? That's that. I mean, that's the only way out. <laughs> I don't think I can. Uh, and I, holy shit, the voids have like fucking tons of bullshit on them. Actually, I just realized. They, these are lootable. Yeah, I've been looting them. Oh, have you been? Like they gave Ruby, which I, I pretty much confirm is just sellable. Well, it's also a wonderful language. Very developer friendly. Oh yes, is this one of your jokes? I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> one of them jokes that you know the humor, <laughs> haha, kind. One of your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> they're 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 very special. All right, so this wasn't really a quest, by the way. Because it just the dogs told me to come down here. I did. We found traps and uh, void woken, and that was it. I mean, we did what they wanted. But you know, what? we became closer as friends. Yeah, I'm I'm leaving this place because you fucking ruined it. Well, I I found um, another one of those scrolls of uh, void woken fish exchange. Uh, okay. Let's test something. I'm over here. One sec. There were bad Talking things to dog. down there, but uh, they smell dead now. Uh, oh, so the dogs actually noticed it. Uh, yeah, the, uh, you killed the monsters. Oh, goody! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! 
There were bad things down there, but uh, they smell dead now. <laughs> Rebecca, there are plenty of bad things left in the world. You may be one of them. Deep down, everyone wants to be a good boy. You're a good boy, good boy, good boy. If you want to be. Tell the dog he's a good boy. Lambo wags his tail, his tongue lolling from his mouth. He's a happy dog. Aww. That's adorable. Also, why does he smell? Alright, what do you want? I'll say. I this. was thinking of using one of these Void Work and Fish Exchange scrolls. Fish Exchange? Oh, I'll leave it. I'll drop it on the ground so you can look at it. What does it Because I got two of them now. If you read it, it says, swap some fish, cast it on a bow with fish inside. Notify the doctor that this fish is available. Okay, fine. Then just use it on something. Yeah, with fish in it. Just try it. Sure. Uh, I was looking at that fish bow down there. Uh, which one? Pick it out. Oh, it's, uh, it's high too close uh, to it. There you go. Pick that, that one. one. There you go. Dun 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 Skill. It did nothing. Yeah, that's poison fish in there. I mean, there always was poison fish in there. Not in that one. Whatever. I, I don't even care. Why, why don't you? Why don't you well, look up? Why don't you look up what that thing does? Sure. Just because you know I've been doing it this I entire spare. fucking time, and you're useless. What? I'm just kidding. I, I want to go. I want to go talk to Jayhan again, honestly. Did you <laughs> like, hey, have you seen my chest? <laughs> you see my diary? Oh, dude, I found I found your bowl. Maybe I'm glad I ain't pulling carts of stinking fish round no more. But what's a beast to do if not pull? Tell the um, tell the bull he should enjoy his rest while he can. How can a beast enjoy this when he's no notion of what his future holds? I'll be spooked till I'm securely hitched up again. Let's get one. Heavens to Bessie, another one. More queer folk than commoners in Driftwood these days. Why does this bull think I'm queer? Just look at you. Red as my favorite beats you are. Never saw no lizard like that before. Anyway, tavern's just down the road. Can't miss it. Ask why the bull assumes you're heading for the tavern. Cause that's where all the queer ones go. <laughs> Clanking dwarves, dozy lizards. I even saw him drag a void woken down there in the dead of night. Don't know what's going on in that tavern, but it must be a freak show in there. Alright, let me talk to the dwarf. Oh, we dwarves at a kingdom. Alright, I'm not listening to that. <laughs> I'm fucking done. What? I want, I want to see what the fucking the kids wanted. Uh, give me a sec. Uh, what's it called? Hide and seek, yeah. Alright, somewhere around here. It's like, uh. It's like somewhere here. Yeah, a little bit more down. So. They're bitching about their friend. Actually, it's more like down here, isn't it? Yeah, it's right here. And we come down, come down here. So apparently it's right here. Where this is where they're at. Oh, here it is. There's a fucking there's a shark here. You wanna come talk to a shark, Ken? She a dick? Let me be a dick. This is the part of the quest. Oh, a shark. Yeah, it's, it's just a shark. A dying shark lies gasping on the sand, bleeding from the mouth and gills. It turns its dark and soulless eyes to you. Its bloody gills open in search of water, but find only air. Um, <laughs> that is predicament to walk away. Yeah, I have an offer to drag it back in the water. It gasps in the air, struggling for the breath to speak. Its own blood froths at its mouth. No, die here. <gasps> Monsters in the water. Monsters in the deep. Remark that by its bloodstained teeth uh, in the sea, it should have little to fear. Monsters bigger, <gasps> more and more growing. Um, reach for the shark, ready to drag it back into the water. It summons the energy to snap at you, thrashing in the sand. You jump back. No, die here. <gasps> 
Monsters in the water. Monsters in the deep. Uh, <laughs> realize that uh, that this is one result of the horror of the Voivoke and sympathize. Monsters in the deep. Oh, the world is dying. The shark lays there, gasping quietly in the sunshine. Blood bubbles at its mouth. You leave it to die and turn away. It lays there, gasping. Ah, oh, well, we're supposed to kill it. Just telling you. There you go. And look, there's a bloody leg there. For Sabeel to eat. So this is this is what I saw. You can have the fucking rest of whatever's in there. Alright, Sabeel. Oh, thanks. So, basically, um... I, I, as I said, I did look this up. Um, so, you know the... Because I would have never thought to look over here. Fucking piece of shit. Anyways, uh... So the whole thing is that their their friend swam to Fort, was swimming to Fort Joy, and there's a bloody leg in the shark. Guess what happened? <laughs> uh, it's nothing bad happened at all. Your name is Joe. You're nine. You're brave. You're off to see your mum. A shadow moves below you. A jagged vice closes on your thigh and pulls you down. Water fills your lungs. Blood billows. All right, that's that's it. Uh, he was attacked and devoured by a creature and before it turned and dead and went washed ashore. Okay. So, that's it for that. I don't know if you want to keep exploring there, that's up to you. I'm gonna go tell the kids that their friend is dead, because that's what I do. Good. Getting that harsh reality. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Mr. Lizard. The little boy beside her looks at you. He picks his nose. Hello, ugly. Uh, ask him if uh, their friend's name was Joe. Cool. How did you know that? Lizard, have you seen our friend Joe? Tell them the truth about Joe. They have to grow up sometime. <laughs> nice to be. What they don't know can't hurt them. Don't tell them. Hmm. Hmm. God damn it, kids are resilient. Tell them the truth. <laughs> Alright kids, it's time you heard the truth. So here's the thing, Joe was eaten by a shark. The horror grows on their little faces. Oh, I love this. That's a horrible thing to say. I bet it wasn't Joe. I bet it was someone else's leg in that icky shark. No, Seville confirmed it. She bursts into tears. Ben looks from you to her and back again. <laughs> she just... starts crying too. You just walk away. Uh, pat the children gently on the head. They're inconsolable. You leave them in tears. I leave them in tears. The kids sob quietly to themselves, their hands over their eyes. Harriet's tears flow freely. Ben's too young to truly understand. Your friend is dead. All right, well, yeah. that's that. all right. I guess we'll uh, leave it off here, guys. So I'll. We just we just raised two new Batmans. We did that. <laughs> I mean, it's their friend, not their parents. Fuck. Well, let's go find their parents. Actually, kids, <laughs> yes. where are your parents? We want to talk to them. <laughs> we eat their legs. <laughs> eat their legs. I'm a barrel. I am your new father. Oh. And I'm not. All right, uh, we're gonna peace out. I'm gonna continue uh, next time by going into some of these other buildings because I don't think we we really didn't do them a whole lot. There's a whole town here that we could, didn't touch on, really. I mean, I did I did half the town. I think I got enough out of this half of the town. I mean, there's the fucking guy that's the that's supposed to be hiding in a barrel. I'll figure out where he is. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.